Hello and welcome. Today we are making this uh, beautiful banana flower. I will take you through the journey of making these beautiful mocha chingri. You can actually get the whole flower and just peel off these little florets and when you cannot peel anymore, you can keep it right there. If you find things which are very black in color, you can discard them. Uh just like this. See, look very black i don't know why they are very black but i know for sure uh this banana plant has been growing in my neighbor's garden so it is quite good all right so um i will do one thing i'm going to chop off this portion and use only the white portions and this is how you're going to clean all your banana flowers this thing has to come out and this big stamen has to come out just like that all right and this whole thing will go into the food processor to get processed now i'm going to chop it in my electric chopper and here i have the little guy uh, whom also i'm going to chop and then put it here and just like that we've already chopped it very fine as you can see now we'll boil it and then i'm going to discard the water yes uh, we need to discard this much of iron uh for our bodies to you know absorb the rest of the nutrition and just like so it needs to boil i've added a little bit of turmeric in there i'm doing it in the kadhai only today uh but you can also boil it in the pressure cooker however you don't need to boil it longer it just because it's cut so nicely it is only going to take a few minutes and just like so it's now fully cooked through so i've got this boiled and now i'm going to just drain it and start the recipe this is all the things we require for the rest of the dish so i've got little chingri match there very choto kucho chingri i have got some coconut here which i also i have kind of chopped in little chunks just like so i'll just show you just see such small little chunks i've got little chunks of potato and my mocha and i've got some green chilies some tomato and the masala will come a little later first thing i'm going to do is fry the chingri match just till the color changes to this not a lot just this much now i'm going to take it out of the oil to drain it properly and then take it out once i've taken out the chingri match i add the potatoes i do feel the potatoes kind of soak up all the flavors of chingri right there from that pan and it tastes wonderful once they receive this beautiful color it's time to take it out of the pan and then fry my cubed coconut just added a little bit more oil let it heat up it it is already and add my coconut and just fry it till it changes a little bit of its color it's completely white right now it should turn gold Just this much of color is what I want. I want to drain this guy completely. It will continue cooking when you take it out. Now in the remaining oil, I've added a simple tadka of jeera, one dry red chilli, two choti elachi or cardamom pods, and one stick of dalchi. I'm gonna let it nicely perfume the oil, and only then hit it with some masala. Here is my masala mix. The details of which you will find in my on the screen right now. While you hear my masala sizzle, adding water into your dry masalas only help you make sure that they don't burn. And especially while I am doing a video, I want to use this trick. so that nothing burns and everything tastes so good once your masala has reached the stage of a beautiful shiny oily layer on top you will take your already chopped tomatoes just like so and add okay this is completely optional give it a good mix let the tomatoes also cook down a little bit and then we'll hit it with the flour As soon as you see the oil separating out and the tomatoes being cooked through, add a little bit of uh, ginger paste. Um, I add the ginger paste a little later. This would be about a teaspoon worth of ginger paste. Now my masala is beautifully fragrant. The 
this is the right time to give the drained mocha or banana flower into the bag like so and give it a good mix once it has taken like about five minutes in that flavorful masala i gave it a cover also i added a little bit of salt i use pink himalayan salt and some sugar into the dish uh, sugar is optional of course but then i highly recommend you to add it because it will add a beautiful dimension to the whole thing and it is very beautifully now after a good stir i'm gonna add my fried potatoes and the fried potato right here and the fried coconut right here into this beautiful place now after frying it for some time in the beautiful flavorful masala i'm gonna heat it with a little bit of water now and let it cook completely the potatoes need to soften now let's open mm, the smell is so good you'll just check once whether the potatoes are cooked through yes they are completely cooked through now we will add the prawns give it a good mix add a tiny little bit more water and give everything time to mingle together just like that a little bit of water which is already boiling the prawns have gone in i've given it a good stir and now i'm gonna just give it a cover and let it cook for about two to three minutes more oh check this out my kitchen is smelling so wonderful right now so after taste testing i added a little bit of sugar as you can see just a pinch of it and some garam masala along with a drizzle of ghee and with that this dish is ready we can switch off the flame give it a good stir let it stand for 5 to 10 minutes and only then we will be able to eat it mocha chingdi my way is ready cheers <laughs>